Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Well, I guess that brings on New Year's resolutions. So, the most popular New Year's resolution is for people to cut weight and to get healthy, and, which the keto diet is probably one of the most popular diets at the moment. So I wanted to explain a little bit more about how to use the keto diet for your New Year's resolution. The first thing you want to do is you want to set a goal, okay? You need to have an idea of what you want to achieve. Do you want to feel the health benefits from keto? Or are you just looking to lose a couple of pounds? Or, or are you lo looking to lose a lot of weight? Now the ketogenic diet isn't one of those short-term diets that's going to allow you just to lose a couple pounds and then go back to the way you're eating. Because the initial weight loss that you're going to get on the ketogenic diet is water weight. And a lot of you that have been watching my videos um, in the past know that this is this this is the way the ketogenic diet goes. So if you just in the beginning you lose that couple of pounds and then you think, oh that's great, I'm done, and then you go back to eating, you're gonna gain that water weight right back because the carbohydrates will come back and they'll hold all that extra water. So that's why the ketogenic diet is a long-term healthy diet that you want to stick with and continue throughout this year if not every year after that. The second thing I want to tell you on a New Year's resolution is to have a plan. Get regimented. Get, get a routine. Everybody you, you look at that you know that, ha that is very healthy has a set routine out there. They drink 16 to 20 ounces of water as soon as they wake up. They drink a, an 8 ounces before they go to bed. They drink water throughout the day. They carry a water bottle around. They're constantly hydrating themselves. They're also constantly, they, they know what they're going to eat. They have a, a, an exercise routine planned out. If you don't go into this with a plan, then you're not going to succeed. There's the old saying, we don't ever plan to fail. We just fail to plan. And that's it. So that's why you need to have a set routine ready to go, a regiment, a, a, a schedule. You need to maybe pre-make pre all your food, um, pre-package it, pr put it in containers, put it in a fridge. Know what you're going to eat that day, okay? If you know what you're going to eat, you tend not to cheat on your diet. All right? And cheating on the ketogenic diet is horrible. You can't do it. It's, it's one of those diets that if you cheat, you almost go back to square one. And, and that's one thing you definitely don't want to have to do on this diet. It's, it takes a long time for a person to get into ketosis. Unlike what people think, they think, well, as soon as I've, I've lost the water weight and as soon as I've uh, gone over the keto flu, I must be in ketosis now. Or, or they check their blood sugar and, or their ketones and they see ketones in their blood. That doesn't mean you're in ketosis yet. It means your body is starting to create ketones and you have ketones in your blood. That's all that means. But once the weight loss then starts, it really kicks in and it's, you'll know when you're in ketosis. It really kicks in and it, it just it, it consumes you. The third thing I want to talk about on your New Year's resolution is to know your stuff. Get educated. Do your research. If you, I, I tell this to people all the time. The more you know about what you're going to do, whether it's your, your workout or your diet with the ketogenic diet, the more you know about it, the more successful you're going to be. So if you just kind of don't know what to do at certain points, you're going to get yourself frustrated. You're going to get you're going to get all tensed up and stressed out, and stress causes weight gain. It, it stops the fat process, the fat burning process. It's, it's not good for your body. It causes all other inflammation and stuff like that. And inflammation is what we want to avoid with the ketogenic diet. The fourth thing I want to mention in today's video is to drink more water, eat more fats, and eat more real food. Okay, the, the drinking the water I've already talked about, it, it's that important. You have to drink a little bit more water on the ketogenic diet 
than you do a regular diet because you don't have carbohydrates that just keep holding on to that extra water for you in case you need it. So you, you really need to make sure that you're getting in all the water that you need. And with that, you're going to need to make sure you're eating proper foods that will actually help with your electrolytes, your vegetables, your bone broth, even supplements, because some of our food just isn't, isn't high in vitamins and minerals anymore. So it's just the way it is. Even when you get grass-fed meats or, or grass-fed butter or organic vegetables, they just don't have the vitamins that they used to have. So unfortunately, we do have to supplement some of those things. And some of those supplements will be magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Those things are your electrolytes that, are, that you're going to need. There are some other ones, but that's all in a different video. You also understand why you're not eating carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are not an essential macronutrient. What they are is they're basically a, a, a product that your body can turn into, a, into glycogen very fast. Okay, you can break it down, turn it into glycogen, and you could use it as, as sugar through, throughout your blood system. And that will give you some energy because your body only can run on two different forms of energy, and that's glycogen and ketones. Okay, now the difference between the glycogen and the ketones is that glycogen runs less efficiently. Okay, it, it uh, causes inflammation inside the cell. When you are created energy, there's a whole process called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And what that'll do is the, the cell breaks apart, it causes the energy, and you, you're able to have more energy real quick. It, it keeps building that energy back up. So when you go, and, say you do an exercise and you go to fatigue or, or failure, and then a couple minutes later, you can do it again. You can do that, that set again. And that's because ATP happened. Now the problem with the glycogen in the cell is that a glycogen kind of makes up a mess when it when it um, uh, turns into energy and it causes cell damage. It, it it causes inflammation, where ketones actually run more efficiently and cleaner. That's just the way it is. Your brain runs better on ketones. Your body runs better on ketones. Your body runs more efficiently on ketones. It's it's you don't have to eat as much as you do on a carbohydrate diet. You're not eating every three hours where, or, and you're not feeling all those ups and downs. You're not forcing an insulin response. You're not causing that fat storage. You're actually using your fat instead of storing more fat, which is what you do on a carbohydrate diet. And then the last thing I want to talk about is be consistent. Keep the course. Just stay the course. Just keep going. If you are inconsistent with the diet, the diet isn't going to work. You have to be strict. You have to be doing it right. You have to know what you're doing. You have to just follow. And, and, and you will. You'll, you'll get to learn things that you every day, like I, I do. You'll learn new things all the time. And you'll have to figure out whether that's going to be good for you or not. And you have to kind of keep track of this stuff. What I recommend is, is like a, a, a glucometer. It's a, it's a glucose m um, meter that you use, put little sticks in, test your blood. You could check your blood sugar, you could check ketones. It's just, um, it gets a little pricey if you don't go with a certain one. One that I do recommend, and I don't get paid for this, but it's called the Keto Mojo. It has the least expensive strips than some of the other ones out there. So um, that's a way to test your ketones. It's a way to test your blood sugar. And you want to make sure that your blood sugar is low. Okay? Because if your blood sugar is high and you're not eating any sugar, that means that your body is still producing its own sugar through a process called gluconeogenesis. And if it's doing that, then you're not in ketosis. That's one of your biggest ways to figure out if you're in ketosis or not is if you wake up in the morning you check your blood sugar and your sugar is a little high and you know you haven't had any sugar or had any fake sugar or had any other massive amounts of carbohydrates that spike that blood sugar so the body will fight you on getting into ketosis it'll fight you on 
on the whole diet all the way through, okay? Because it wants to stick with eating eating carbs and turn it into sugar because it's easier for the body to do that, okay? It's not as easy for the body to break down your fats and use your fats, but it is more efficient once it does that. And then the overall goal of the ketogenic diet is to get fat adapted. And I've said this in numerous videos as well. Fat adapted is going to get you into a state where you're constantly burning fat and and your mental clarity is is much clearer your energy levels are pretty are, are more consistent there's no highs and lows your sleep patterns get better your your organs get healthier you get less chance of disease and inflammation stuff like that so that's where you start to really reap the benefits is when you become fat adapted now, uh, I do want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't, please do so. Um, and please like this video. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And if you have questions, I'm usually very available. I usually respond within 24 hours. I I'm try, try to be as helpful with you guys as I can. I try to answer as many questions as I can. I've been doing keto for a very long time and I know this this diet pretty much inside and out. Now there's, like I said, there's always things that I learn every day and I make mistakes too. I've, I've admitted that in videos. I, I, I've made plenty of mistakes on this diet. But what I'm trying to do with these videos is to teach you what I've done wrong so that you don't have to go through that because it, it, it takes some time to get past some of those mistakes. And that's a lot of time wasted. All right, well, please subscribe, please like, and please share these videos. All right, guys, have a great New Year's Eve, have a safe New Year's Eve, and I will see you guys in 2018. Bye.